Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. Alright, so let's continue on to the right here and uh, see what kind of progress we can make in the Petal Meadows. Oh, one more thing, Mario, if you ever find yourself, like, wondering what to do, just press X and use my title ability and I'll be able to look up some useful info. Cool. Let's use it. River running through your totally makes the air crisp and refreshing. Oh, nice observation. Hey, and by the way, have you tried checking the grass around here? Sometimes those clumps of grass had good stuff, so always check them. Yep, so we can walk up to these little clumps here and get stuff out of them. Wow, we actually got 13 star points from that battle. There were quite a few enemies around. Whoa, hey! Alright, so we checked that little clump of glass in or cl clump of grass. Well, wow, that's kind of hard to say. And uh, this pipe appears, and we can now go back into the background. Cool. As we go along here, we can see there's a switch we can hit. And when we do so, we're going to make a bridge. And it's kind of cool how this bridge appears. The page just kind of keeps repeatedly flipping there. And more pieces keep getting put on. That's kind of cool. They really like to use the whole, like, uh, sort of, I guess you could say, like, books sort of effect. You know, like, flipping pages and, you know, like, crumpling pieces of paper and stuff. So, uh, they, they really go a little bit overboard with those effects. But, whoa, cool, what's this? It's a present. No, oh, it's got a mystery. Who knows what this does? Take a chance and find out. I'm not sure if I want to, but I'm sure I will at some point. Oh, hey, look, there's a star piece back there. So, if we go uh, back over here and through the pipe, I guess I should have gotten this uh, the first time through. And I guess while we're here, it's going to be worth noting this. It's not going to be 100%. It's going to be, you know, pretty much just like the original Paper Mario. Uh, I'm not going to get all the badges. I'm not going to get all the star pieces. I'm not going to get all the items. I'm not going to get all that crap. So, uh, you know, don't <laughs> don't really bother telling me where any of the stuff is. You know, I'm not going to bother to collect it. So it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty much just getting, you know, what I see along the way. What I think might help us in getting through and stuff like that. So... Uh, I'm definitely not going to bother with getting every single thing in this game. That also includes the tattle log, for those of you wondering. Uh, all the enemies that you tattle um, using Gumbella's ability, it'll be kept in a little log in this game. And you can max that out if you want, but I, of course, am not going to bother. Okay, so this is Petalburg. Welcome, travelers. Mm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. We're kind of remote. Yippity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. No, well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, ooh scary name. <laughs> so anyway, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. I want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. Yeah, he really is. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff we don't. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. Pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Okay, so, uh, as was the case in the last game, the first village we come to is kind of like a little Koopa village. There are, of course, varying residents of this place, as you can probably see. And if we actually come across here, these guys might look a little bit familiar. These are Bubbulbs. Top of the morning, tis I, Bubbulber, Bubbulber. I am as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Oh, yeah, you kind of are, actually. All right, so we can check out a few of these places. There's really nothing noteworthy in any of them. This guy here. But I am General White. I am a bomb -om and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Uh, what do you got to say about him, good fella? I guess White bomb -oms are pretty rare. He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip fuzz a run for its money. Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty wicked. I mean, Mario's is pretty legendary, but that's pretty good as well, you gotta admit. <laughs> Holy crap, what is the deal with this guy? Look at that. Alright, what do you got to say about him, Goombella? Ew! Yeah, basically. What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet-talk everybody. There, no more. Alright, <laughs> This guy's voice is going to be horrible, but let's go for it. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, Monsieur Mustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dollard and come away with more. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the dork. Oh, 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 sacre bleu. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. Well, I retreat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to talk in that voice anymore either. So, so far we've had to do a pirate thing, or we've had to do like a French thing. It's only going to get worse from here on out. Just trust me here. <laughs> but, 
All right, so there's a few different houses around here. This Koopa looks a little bit different from the rest. Oh, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and, and that magnificent mustache. Yeah, you're Mario, aren't you? Sure am. For tales of how strong you are, if you're here, that means you're going to challenge the monstrous hooktail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you. All right. So, uh, is Koops in this house? Whoa. <laughs> what happened to your nose there, buddy? Um, hi there, folks. Did you come to this village to look for the treasure of Hooktail's castle? Well, that Hooktail is one tough cookie. Okay, well, I kind of figured as much. Thanks for your help, though. Okay, and as you may have guessed, the mayor is in this little pink house here. As Cabela said, it's pretty atrocious, but... And yeah, there's the old mayor. Look at that, man. He's, like... He doesn't even have any eyes. Those are, like, bushy eyebrows over his eyes, man. Huh? What's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Whoa. Hey, man, you got it all wrong. Go on, do what you will. As you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell, too. Just leave me the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you folks are looking for the crystal stars? Yep. Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Crystal stars, you say you're hunting. Um, wait, why didn't I hear about those dang things again? Aha, got it, Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So are you reckless fools, I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Hey, rewards. All right, now we're talking. Wait, what's that I hear you accept my own reward? I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You are noble indeed. Hey. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. <laughs> Why do they even give you a choice here? It's Mario or the name is Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. <laughs> what? If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, I'll find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. Your keys are somewhere in Schwonk Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Oh, yeah. Schwonk? Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that hooktail monster. Okay. Guy's senile, don't you think? Okay, so apparently we need to get some sort of stone keys. Hey, it's uh, these three little toad sisters here. Hey, 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 it's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. So it's just famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big bad hooktail. We can't wait to see it. Okay, whatever you say. Yeah, we're going to be coming across these three quite a lot in our adventures. They never really do anything important, but uh, I guess it's kind of cool that they show up in pretty much all the towns we go to. Hey, we got an email. As you travel, you may receive email from people you've met on your journey. You can read these ma emails on your mailbox SP. So I guess we should uh, go ahead and at least check that out. I probably won't be checking most of these because they're pretty much all useless. Uh, there's one here from Frankly. Working hard. And, uh... Yeah, it's nothing to say other than we need to check our mail. And they all kind of have these little uh, signatures there with their picture on it. That one's kind of cool. And uh, this is our registration email. You know, like we need to read this. But... Alright, so there we go. That's our mailbox SP. An old stronghold called Schwonk Fortress lies ahead. Why are there two H's in that, by the way? At least it might live there, and this gate's to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there. Alright, yep, we need to get through here. Um, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Yeah? What's up, man? Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Yeah, come on, out with it. Well, um... Oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. G good, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> What's that guy? Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Yeah, seriously. Oh, What's the deal with that guy? Okay, so we're not really going to get the chance to adventure much further out through here. Uh, but we might as well at least make a little bit of progress, I guess. Oh, hey, what do you know? There's a new enemy here. Cool. Alright, so as you may be able to guess, this guy here is a Koopa. 
functionally equivalent to its uh, Nintendo 64 counterpart. Jump on it to flip it over, and then its defense goes to zero, and uh, it's pretty much taken out for now. I mean, it can't really do anything for a few turns. A few more hits, and it'll go down without any trouble. So that's good. All right, so now that we have defeated that group of enemies, it looks like we're about to run out of time. So in the next part, we're going to head over to the right and towards Schwank Fortress. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.